Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. And earlier today, I made a video on how to uh, put circles in a text with a macro, and not everybody's going to have that macro. Uh, somebody sent me this, and this, I said in the other video, this is beautiful. Uh, really well done. I still don't know 100% how they did it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make two videos on this. One of them, I'm going to use a different R, but on this one, I'm going to use that R. All I did was take a bunch of that same size little circle. And now to make this better, I'm going to take that same R and I'm going to contour it to the inside 0 0.02. And then I'm going to break the contour apart. And then I'm going to, I'm going to set my nudge factor on, let's see how big this is, uh, less than five. So I'm going to make it five inches. I'm going to take the contour and, and nudge it over. So this is my smaller one. I'm going to, Turn it red just to make sure, and you can see the red on the inside, so it is a smaller one. And the reason I'm doing that, because this way none of the, the ellipses will be touching the outside. So now I'm going to move this group. I've grouped these circles together. I'm going to select everything, and there's so many circles, it takes a second for this to even come up. But I'm going to intersect, and it's already done. I'm going to nudge it over and now I can nudge this back the other way. And this is pretty good with the exception we have some half circles. And and you know not only half circles but uh, not perfect circles. And if you you know but we are we are in a line here and it, it did pretty good. I mean even even on this one. It's not near as neat as this by far. Uh, I really like that. I'm going to do one more video on how to maybe make it a little bit better. But if you look, you know, the half circles. And you could probably, you know, if you, if you were doing a whole word, you couldn't take the time to do this. But if you just had one letter, you could delete these ones that aren't perfect and actually go back in there and... Uh, take these and uh, I think I had my duplicate distance set on 0 0.05 and hit the plus key and move that over and then just hit the plus key and just randomly, you know, if if it doesn't matter, but it, you like I said, you couldn't do that for a whole word. But if you just had one letter to do, uh, you could possibly do that. And then stay tuned for part three where I'm going to try to maybe possibly blend, but I'm going to use an easier letter. He just got this off the internet, so I don't think it's the font he really wants. But that doesn't look half bad. And I might even find a way, if these are three nodes versus four nodes, I might be able to find a way to delete those other ones with find and replace. So stay tuned. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.